Market Monday is here. We got two player of the weeks. We'll get into that. Team Diamonds this Wednesday. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Your first offensive player of the week is going to be Jamar Chase, 92 overall, 92 speed. And then your defensive player of the week is going to be CJ Garner Johnson. If I remember right from his golden ticket last year, he's around 5'10, 5, 5'11, 5, 91 speed. So a little bit of a shorter corner. I'd play him more probably as a slot corner if I had to guess, or shorter DB slot corner. By the way, moving forward, you'll be getting one offensive, one defensive player of the week for team of the week the rest of the year on top of your just legend champions and your ltd as well team them reveals tomorrow morning on good morning madden i don't know if we're going to get the sets all the players and the master i probably don't get the sets get some of the players and probably the master will be in the afternoon content schedule wise most feared part two dropping later this week if i had to guess thursday but the big bombshell on the market today was the return of the one-time training offer for aka players this time being an 88 plus for 9.9k training uh, mathed out with the training ratio at around 11.5 per the pack is going to cost you 115k coins for the roll if you do pull either the baby versions the 88 overall they're going for around 70,000 coins and the 89 overall they're going for around 100,000 coins you are set to lose but if you do pull those 90s those 91s those 92 full aka players you are set to profit and well as you can tell with training being so cheap the pack significantly cheaper than what it would have been last week the entire aka market has crashed if you do want to pick up any aka players i know team diamond reveals probably going to be 92s tomorrow but you're really never going to see these aka players uh, cheaper than they are right now i mean players like calvin johnson have been cut in half edger and james cut in half just so many so many deals and surprisingly even you could say walter payne and javon curse the new players are going for less than 600k in comparison to their usual new aka players going for over a mil which is awesome to see on this new post tvp market but now getting into probably what you guys want to know am i investing in the aka players and you can see just on your screen as i bought a player uh yes but their timeline the timeline for these investments is a little bit different now price wise i'm buying 88 overalls under 65k 89 overalls under 95k but we used to invest in these in the tvp market where we were buying monday and instantly on tuesday with team of the week we would have a training demand a training boost because there would be a new ltd in those tvp packs now we don't have that anymore so these cards and they're also not the cheapest training per overall they're almost there but the cheapest 88s are around 60k to 65k and the cheapest 89s are around 85k to 95k or 90k so slightly to blow that so we're not really buying these cards as training i mean they are if training again goes up a ton they will become training investments but they aren't like they're not going to be bought for training they're only being bought to complete the set so with that being said I, you're gonna have to wait a little longer for these cards to go up for the 88 overalls you're probably gonna have to wait i'd say a lot of them probably go up once we get the team diamond reveals and people realize okay i'm gonna want megatron on my team i'm gonna want darrell revis and they'll probably go and pick up uh the set because again completing the set for these aka players is almost vital since you need to get that 88 or 89 overall piece to power them up uh but yeah 92 overall guys or 89 overall pieces are probably a little bit longer they also have that uh uh, opportunity where on sunday if we get a review and let's say for example we get a dan marino a steve mcnair something crazy next week for aka 92s you can expect those 89 overall pieces to probably go from 100k to 150 we saw it with megatron as well readers a few weeks back so the 88s you probably don't want to hold uh through the week uh probably like not into saturday or sunday you're gonna want to sell them off probably thursday or friday looking to get five to seven k per profit for per card profit after tax 89 overalls you can i'm probably gonna sell half in the middle of the week if they go up and then save the other half and hope and hope we're due for a quarterback we're even due for a tight end we're due for some really i mean they're all really good cards uh but yeah don't go all out on these if you need coins to buy your team tomorrow afternoon when the team diamond reveals happen or wednesday when team diamond does drop uh, this is like the one week i'd say you can sit out just because uh prices for your team if you want to buy them are going to be the cheapest tuesday and wednesday so yeah that's aka investing uh, i am going a little bit into it that's just because i have a lot of coins if you don't have a lot of coins uh, if you got like one to two mil and you're expecting to spend one to two mil on your team you kind of just got to sit out the aka uh investment just because we're waiting probably three to four days to sell these cards 
Team of the week investment wise though, I'll give you a little rundown like what has happened the past few weeks. Uh, we started out investing in the 88 Khalil Herbert Trey Henderson. They went from around 120K to 150K. The next week we were buying, what would I say, Austin Eckler and another card. We were buying those guys for, I think it was under 115. They went, oh no, it was Hawkinson and Rashawn Gary. We were buying those guys for 115K. They went up to 135, 150 or 140. And then your uh, last week, two of the guys were Austin Eckler and the other card was the Vikings corner. We were buying them for under 110, around 105K, and they went all the way up to 130, 135. Team of the week cards are very, very consistent investments. Their buy window though is Tuesday afternoon, which is great because we'll already know the team diamond cards. And I can tell you like, I wanna invest in team of the weeks this week, but it all comes down to what price they're going for. I hope they're somewhere around the AKA market. So what, 90K to 95K? Again, we're gonna have to wait and see for their cards. Uh, hop in the Discord, you can just DM me. I'm not gonna have a video uploaded until team, well, I guess I'll talk about it in the team diamond reveal video tomorrow, but most likely I will be investing them as long as they're not above, I'd say 105 to 110, because at least Jamar Chase looks really good. That double team of the week, player of the week will only help our team of the week investments. But yeah, that's the update on them. We don't know if we're gonna invest in them. If they're under 100K, I probably will buy quite a few. All right, so those are your AKA investments. Those are your team of the week future investments. We don't know if we're gonna make those. Now I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the market in general, right? Team Diamonds, the training market. But man, I am loving this much cheaper market. It just gives, I feel like I'm saving, even though I lost a lot of coins in the players I bought last week. Now that I'm going to upgrade my team uh, like fully for the first time in, in weeks, it's just significantly cheaper. I can go buy every single AKA player and really just not sweat it at all since they're 250 to 300K. But yeah, the training market has seen a little bit, the biggest spike on overalls I've seen today, 86 overalls are up quite a bit. They are going for 27, 28K unfiltered. They're like 30, 31. All the other cards really have stayed put. Uh, usually Monday training goes down, but since we did get that AKA roll and there's, uh, I mean, there's not that much super demand for training and packs aren't really being open on Monday except for the AKA cards. Uh, training now on Monday might even be one of the more expensive days with that pack if it keeps refreshing. Team Diamond wise though, you've probably heard me. If you wanna know like my exact binder, wanna have everything planned for, I uploaded No Money Spent earlier today. It just goes through my entire binder, but Core Elite wise, Team Diamond investing wise, you can still make some pickups. I'm guessing tomorrow morning, uh, we don't get the set. They're really bad with showing like if we're getting new packs, new sets. Hopefully they show the sets tomorrow morning for Good Morning Madden. But if they do show the sets, you can almost guarantee that it will be much, much harder to buy any cards that are involved within the sets tomorrow. So this is really your last day, your last night to make any Team Diamond investments. I'd say still my favorites are 80 and 81s for under 4,000 coins. Super, super safe. And then any guys above 84 to 87 overall. Price-wise, I have a video on Team Diamonds that dropped on Saturday. The prices are a little bit different, or Friday, a little bit different, but I mean, they're relatively still the same. Just go on the market and buy for three to 4K under the lowest buy now. I, but yeah. We don't really know. I mean, as much as we can prepare for Team Diamonds, EA can throw us a massive curveball. I've thought of all the possibilities to where they screw us over on investing, and it's just really, the only way I see them screwing us over, they would have to release baby pieces for the Team Diamond sets and then not release a reroll. Because if they, for, for whatever reason, right, core elites aren't involved at all, and they do release, let's say, like 82 overall, 85 overall, and 87 overall Team Diamond pieces, you need like 50 of them to complete a set. They most likely will release a reroll with that, and then our core elite investments, which are also training investments technically, will still be fine. The only way they screw us over is they put those baby pieces in or they have like a magical 90 overall like jumbo piece, one you need one for each set, and they make it to where you can't get in rerolls. So that's the only way they screw us over. If they have a reroll, we're in the we're in the profit. Uh, if core elites are involved, we I don't see how we uh, lose coins. But I will say it is very important that you do hedge off your sales. Look to start selling off 84 to 87 overalls for those lazy sell prices. Yes, you're only making three to 4K per card, but you don't really wanna go into Team Diamonds. And like I said earlier in my video, I'm not holding any more than three of each card, 84 to 87. Why? We really only probably got a two, three day window to sell off these cards. And if you have 10 of each, uh, good luck selling them for the prices you want when you only have 20 auction house slots. So I'm holding a max of three. You'll see of me listing guys right now on your screen. 80 to 83s, I'm not really worried about because they're they're like more overall fodder. They're probably gonna be used in some sort of capacity in team builder sets. I don't really know exactly there, but 84 to 87s, I'm not trying to hold 10 of each card. Three is my max. And if I buy, I'm still buying, right? I'm still buying. But if I do buy a fourth, a fifth version of that card, I'm going to try to sell it off even before release. And uh, yeah. I mean, Team Diamond, I, I, we don't know, right? 
I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, what are we selling, when are we selling? I don't know. Uh, it might be better to do this set. It might be better to sell off Wednesday night. It might be better to sell off Tuesday night. We really don't know until we see the sets and how the market reacts. If we get a reroll, who knows? It's all to EA. It is in EA's hands. We've prepped the best way possible. We've been buying cards under training value, correlate wise. But yeah, that is your team diamond investing update. You can still buy cards. Tonight is probably your last night and make sure you are selling off and hedging your investments. Last little thing before we wrap up Market Monday LTD, Stefan Gilmore has come back down to reality. He was up to around 600, 625K over the weekend. He's down to around the 550K range. I bought him for 540. I only have one for my team. So of course I'm going to hold him for a little bit, but I do think if you have extra Stefan Gilmore's, it is worth it holding onto his card through Team Diamonds. We're probably gonna get three corners. The likelihood of getting three corners above 6'1 in height with 92 speed is very rare. Team Diamonds also might be very expensive. They might be 600K, 700K, 800K. So 550 for an LTD cornerback, good height, good speed. Uh, I'm not really looking. I don't think anyone should sell off this card unless you drastically need coins. Uh, yeah, for other purchases, I guess. Savon Gilmore, though, he is one of those cards. He's going to stay within the meta for a while. So I'm going to hold him probably for two to three weeks through my team. Eventually sell him off. But that's all for this video. Comment if you have any questions. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.